Have you ever seen anyone wearing helmet and goggle to breed fish? I had never seen anyone doing so until I got to this little fish farm. A fish farm that is located inside a receiving terminal for LNG, liquefied natural gas. It sounds radical to cultivate fish in a place where machines, pipelines, and tanks are all around. Are they safe for consumption? Sashimi? Mr. Neil, are you going to tell me where this aquarium water is coming from? Neil says the sea water and the LNG do not mix during the whole process. Just like a bottle of water in his hand wouldn't be polluted by the aquarium water. The only change is in temperature. After the process, the sea water will be cooled by 3 to 5 degrees Celsius, which will normally cause it to stay between 15 to 25 degrees Celsius. 在南方海域来讲，这个你有这样的低温的海水，那真的是非常稀缺，你其他地方得不到的，没有。So instead of piping the cold water directly into the sea, the LNG receiving terminal cooperates with the local aquaculture farming company, using the water to cultivate high-end seafood, including fish, lobster, and abalone. The cold water constantly flows in and out of the tanks which creates an extremely good condition for those marine species to grow healthily. Compared to conventional farming methods, this can reduce costs by around 30%. <laughs> For this fish farm, the cold energy utilized equals saving 1.97 million kilowatt hours of power per year, which is equivalent to planting 1800 trees in terms of carbon dioxide emission reduction. And the green characteristic of this farm is even reflected in the details. Before the water in these tanks goes into the sea, it will flow by these kind of grasses. And you see the roots of them can absorb the feces and the feeds of the fishes. The fish farm is just a trial project started in May last year. Estimated to reach an annual output of 50 tons, the project has become a good example of what a circular economy could look like. Oh, and by the way, today's lunch is great. With these cold energy fish, I come myself. <laughs> 